वेलकम टू द क्यू एन ए सेशन सिक्सटीन फ्रॉम द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ वेव ऑफ डेक्स द टॉपिक इज दाइडिंग ब्राइट फ्रिंजेस एंड बेस्ड ऑन दिस टॉपिक आई हैव सिलेक्टेड वन क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस सेशन विच इज रिटर्न इयर ऑन दिस बोर्ड सो द क्वेश्चन इज अ बीम ऑफ लाइट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू वेवल सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एंड फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड स्ट्रॉम दिस बीम ऑफ लाइट इज यूज टू ऑप्टेन द इंटरफेरेंस पैटर्न ऑन ए स्क्रीन द स्क्रीन इज वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर अवे फ्रॉम द स्लिट्स The slit separation is 2 mm. The least distance from the central maxima where the bright fringes due to the two wavelengths coincide is. So there are four options here, and we have to find the correct one. Now we know that the uh, distance of the nth uh, bright fringe from the central maxima or from the center of the screen is given by is given by the formula. That is x n is equal to n lambda d divided by d, where d is the distance of the screen from the slits. Small d is the slit separation. N is the nth bright fringe from the central maxima, and lambda is the wavelength. So, for the beam of light of wavelength six thousand five hundred angstrom. x n will be equal to n multiplied by 6500 angstrom now i will be converting this angstrom into meters now one angstrom is equal to uh, 10 to the power minus 10 meters so this value will be equal to 6500 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters multiplied by d now d here is given in uh, centimeter which is equal to 120 So in meters this will be equal to one point two divided by small d. Now small d is the separation uh, is the separation of the slits which is equal to two mm. So this will be equal to two into ten to the power minus three meters. So this value x n that is the distance of the nth bright fringe from the central maxima is equal to this value and this is in meters. This is in meters. Similarly. The distance of the mth bright fringe due to the beam of light of wavelength five thousand two hundred angstrom. For the beam of light of five thousand two hundred, for the beam of light of wavelength five thousand two hundred angstrom. So the distance of the mth bright fringe this will be equal to m into five thousand two hundred into ten to the power. Minus ten multiplied by one point. Sorry, multiplied by one point two divided by two into ten to the power minus three meters. Now the least distance from the central maxima where the bright fringes due to these uh, two wavelengths coincide can be found by equating these two equations. That is, first of all, we, I will have to find the ratio of n by m or m by n. So, in order to find the ratio of n by m, what I will be doing is I will be equating these two equations in the case where the bright fringes due to these two wavelengths are coinciding. So, n into Six thousand five hundred into ten to the power minus ten into one point two divided by two into ten to the power minus three. This will be equal to m into five thousand two hundred into ten to the power minus ten into one point two into divided by two into ten to the power minus three. so by equating these two equations i will be able to get the ratio of n by m so from here the ratio of n by m this is equal to 5200 divided by 6500 so this is equal to 52 by 65 so this is equal to 4 by 5 so
So from here we can say that that is from the equation n upon m is equal to 4 upon 5. It means that the fourth bright fringe due to the beam of light of 6500 angstrom is coinciding with the fifth bright fringe due to the beam of light of wavelength 5200 angstrom. So, in order to find the least distance from the central maxima where the bright fringes uh, due to the two wavelengths coincide will be found or it can be found by calculating the distance of the fourth bright fringe due to the beam of light of wavelength 6500 angstrom. So, x4, x4 is what? This is the distance of the fourth bright fringe due to the beam of light of wavelength 6500 angstrom. This will be equal to n is 4 into 6500 into 10 to the power minus 10 multiplied by 1.2 divided by 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters. So this is the the least distance from the central maxima where the bright fringes due to the two wavelengths coincide. So this will be equal to 4 into 65 into 1.2 uh, or we can simply that this can be divided, uh, this 4 by 2 is equal to 2, 2 into 65 is equal to 130, 130 into 1.2 and this is uh, 65 into 100 and this is 10 to the power minus 10. So now this 10 to the power minus 3 when it will go into the numerator will be equal to 10 to the power 3. So finally I will be getting the value as 10 to the minus 10, 10 to the power minus 10 into 10 to, uh, into 10 to the power 3 and into 10 to the power 2. So this is equal to 10 to the power minus 5 meters. So 130 into 1.2 this is equal to 156 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 meters. Now in order to convert this in uh, mm because here the answer uh, the options are in mm. So what I will be doing is I will be simply multiplying this value by 1000 in order to get the answer in mm. So here uh, this value is equal to I will simply I will write it here. This x4 is equal to 156 divided by 100 mm or this is equal to 1.56 mm. So the least distance from the central maxima where the bright fringes due to the two wavelengths coincide is equal to 1.56 mm. So the correct option here is A that is the first option which is equal to 1.56 mm. So thank you very much for joining this session. In the next session, I will be discussing uh, uh, another topic from the same chapter that is wave optics. So till then, have a nice day. Bye.